hello all in this session we are going to discuss on what is rpo and what is rto rpo stands for recovery point objective So first of all, before starting on what is recovery point objective, why at all we have to define an RPO. So this is one important metrics for an organization when they deciding on the backup and recovery plan for the organization. So based on the RPO and RTO, the organization will prioritize on which application they have to recover first. Yeah. So now moving on to what is RPO. RPO always relates to data loss. RPO is always reflected in times. Time meaning what is the minute or second or hour that you define the RPO. RPO means it is the maximum permissible data loss that the organization can accept. What is meaning by data loss the organization can bear with? It means if you are defining your RPO is equal to zero, then it means organization cannot bear with even a second of a data loss. Organization cannot bear with even a second of data loss. So if an organization cannot sustain even a minute or second of a data loss, then it means you should have a mirror backup in place. So whenever we speak on data loss, the equivalent metrics is relating to the backup schemes the organization should have. So based on the RPO, you will decide on the frequency of backup. So RPO, the smaller it is or the closer it is to zero, it means the process is more critical. So let's discuss on the timeline for RPO. What is the RPO timeline? So for example, there is a disaster. And you have the recovery or the data loss which is set as 0 to 1 hour or 1 to 4 hours or 4 to 24 hours. If an organization can bear the data loss for the maximum of 0 to 1 hour, then you should have a mirror backup in place. Or you can have real-time replication of data. If you can have a data loss, maximum data loss up to 1 to 4 hours, then you can have disk-based backups. If you say that the data loss you can have for 4 to 24 hours or even more than that, then you can have tape backups in place. So as I said, the more it is closer to zero, the more critical the process is. Smaller the RPO, critical the process is. That is relating to RPO. So always remember RPO relates to data loss. Now we will move on to RTO.
RTO means recovery time object. Always remember recovery time objective relates to downtime. So this as well similar to RPO is always defined by time. What is defined by time? You can measure it by minutes or seconds or hearts. So what is RTO? It is the maximum permissible or acceptable amount of dime, downtime. This downtime can be for an application or can be for a system or can be for a business process or a business function. So based on the RTO, you define on the recovery site for the organization. How long a system can be down? So after this RTO, the system should be up or the application should be up or the business should be back as usual in the original site. So in this, this case, you have to define for the strategy that you can decide for the recovery site. So based on the RTO, you decide on the recovery site. Recovery site meaning off site or alternate site. So off site or alternate site, what are those? Recovery or alternate site is the site other than your original site where you continue your operations in the case of a disaster. The original site has got or the original data center has got affected by a disaster so for the time being for the limited time period you continue the operations at an alternate or a different site or a backup site which is called as a recovery site so you have three types of alternate site which is called as hot site or warm site or cold site what are these three sites? These three sites will define as to the level of capacity or the level of functions or the level of operations that you can have in the organization. One will be fully equipped with all the equipments which will be similar to your original data center, which is hot site. You will have the same mirror type of center in the alternate site. What is warm site? You will not have the full functionality as to the original site. There will be certain limitations. The basic infrastructure will be available. Not all the resources will be available in the warm site. What is a cold site? You have the space, you have the platform where you can carry on the operations. Yeah, that is what is called as a cold site. So for a very critical operation or a critical business process, you will have a hot site in place. For some process which is less critical or less sensitive, you will have warm site or cold side. So as such, similar to RPO, if RTO is equivalent to zero, then you should choose hot side as off side meaning it is more critical. You cannot bear even with a second of a downtime. So here as well, what is the RTO timeline? So you have a disaster. Which is 0 to 1 hour or 1 to 4 hours or 4 to 24 hours or greater than that. So here you should have a hot site in place. Here you can have a warm site. Here you can have either a cold site or you can have a reciprocal arrangement. Reciprocal arrangement is that you have a space sharing with another similar company in place where both of the parties agree together to share the space and resources. So in the event of a disaster, both of the parties can 
make use of the alternate sign. So this is relating to RPO and RTO. So always remember RPO is relating to data loss and RTO always relates to downtime of the system. So based on RPO, you have to decide on the frequency of backup. Based on RTO, you will decide on what is the recovery strategy that you can have for the alternate side. So now let's discuss on a mock question relating to RPO and RTO. Company A has a recovery time objective equal to zero and a recovery point objective close to one minute for a critical system. This implies that the system can tolerate. So now we are going to decide on the recovery strategy for the organization. So we know that as closer it is to zero, it means it is more critical. So A, a data loss up to one minute, but the processing should be continuous. B, one minute of processing interruption but cannot tolerate any data loss. C, processing interruption of one minute or more. D, both data loss and processing interruption longer than one minute. So what it means? So first one, they are speaking on the recovery time objective which is equal to zero. So time always relates to downtime which is equal to zero which means that you cannot bear with even a second of a downtime recovery point objective always relates to data loss so here they are saying that data loss can be close to one minute so data loss they can bear it up to one minute for a critical system so here when we look for the question so downtime is equal to zero meaning the processing should be continuous so here based on the option processing is continuous you have it in a and you have it in D as well. But for data loss, you can wait up to one minute. So considering that A and D, A is the best answer because data loss of up to one minute, but the processing should be continuous. So A is the right answer for this question. So that's all about RPO and RTO. So thank you.